What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sakina, and I'm back for another review. This is my review for the Braxton Family Values. This is season seven, I think. Was it season seven? I don't know. Let me see, because y'all know how I get. I be wanting to know stuff. I think this is season seven. Yep, I was right. Season seven, episode four. They did not give us an episode last week, obviously, because this show falls on Thursday. Last Thursday was Thanksgiving. I was happy about that because I was behind on some of my videos anyway. So to eliminate that one, that's fine. Especially because these episodes are really not giving much. Um, I mean, let's just get through it because like I said, it wasn't giving much. So the episode opens up with Trina and Vaughn and Tawanda on um, like a Zoom chat meetup type of thing. This is what the episode was pretty much filled with um, because obviously, you know, they're four months into quarantine. So they had to work with what they had. Now, um, Vaughn and Trina are not really enjoying their newlywed time because Miss E lives with them. So, you know, that has an effect on them. Tawanda's boyfriend is staying with them. Uh, he lives in LA, but he flew down to Georgia to be with them. So it is what it is. Uh, Tawanda said that she does want to get married and possibly have a baby with him. I was like, mm, okay. And, um, Tawanda had the same, like the exact same bed as me, but her bed was black and mine is gray. Um, for anybody who wants to know, because I do have a high headboard, you know, fun fact, I did get it from America's Signature Furniture. That is a very popular nationwide store brand. So yeah, our furniture store. So if y'all interested in a bed, they got different options. Yeah, go ahead and get you one because I love my bed. Um, we see that Tony is at her house. She explains that her tour got canceled, obviously, because of Corona. She can't go on a rural tour right now. So they're going to shift gears and focus on her merchandise. So she also said, too, that um, she was happy that they had a reset because she needed this break. Um, we see that Tracy... Uh, she talks to Tracy and she said that she really hasn't talked to her since the wedding. Uh, she also said, too, that she had been getting blood work done for her lupus and she's constantly getting checked for corona. So I know that eases her mind a little bit because, you know, her immune system is at risk. It's weak. Um, Tracy said that all of her family is working. Her son, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the, the, the daughter-in-law too and her son, you know, they all, you know, out there trying to get that bread. Uh, Tony said that her kids is really just, you know, on some, I don't know, one want to stay in the house, another one want to go outside. She quarantined with Birdman. So, you know, we still don't know what's going on with them. But, okay, I'm surprised we don't see him. Maybe I guess he probably just don't want to be on TV. And plus, you know, that sparks a lot of questions on what's going on. But Tony said, you know, being in the house with a whole bunch of men, she ready to be around the world. Tracy is still going to therapy. We're happy to know that. And I, I want to start therapy myself. The only thing is... I want to be able to sit on somebody's couch. You know, the Zoom thing is not really personal like that. So, I don't know. Like, I'm, I do do think I still need to get it regardless. But I want to be on somebody's couch. Like, can we talk? Okay. Let's talk about this attitude of mine. <laughs> we just see, like, a whole bunch of unnecessary scenes. We see Vaughn was folding towels on the floor. I was like, no, you ain't nitpicky about how Trina fold the towels, yet you're doing it on the floor. I was like, mm, okay. That was weird to me. Uh, we also see a lot of Mikey in this episode. Like I say, he's getting a lot of camera time this season. I think they probably just need him to, to fill in some gaps because he's never been on this many episodes. So I'm feeling like he, you know, especially because Tamar is gone, maybe he's just filling in the dad. I don't know. Anyway, we see that Tawanda is thinking about going to Maryland to check on their dad. And she wants Sean to stay and watch her kids. And I was like, where they daddy at? But then we find out later on where Andre has been at. Then they go into this whole baby conversation. And I'm like, okay, y'all talking about babies, but y'all ain't talking about marriage. Okay, make it make sense. Anyway, Tawanda said that she was talking about um, wanting to go visit Tracy while she was up there. And we see how Tracy feels about that. She ends up calling her. And she was like, hey, you know, I'm be down, I'm be up there checking on daddy. Like, I want to come see you. She trying to give jokes to everything. And Tracy is just like, uh, like Tracy was giving her jokes to no energy. And I'm like, damn, Tracy. But, you know, she wasn't feeling it. And it is what it is. Um, She just really wants to set boundaries. You know, she was talking to her husband, Kevin, after she got off the phone with Tawanda. She was like, I just want to set boundaries. And that looks like, you know, considering my feelings and um, treating me like my, like my opinion matters and stuff like that. So she just wants to not feel less than. So she said that she's just learning how to use her words. And that's with the help of therapy. Um, my question is, Tracy, where do you live? Because on the previous seasons, 
We've seen you in a house. Your sisters even came to visit you in Maryland at ooh, at one point. Excuse me. And then, like, the last episode, y'all were in an apartment. And now this episode, y'all in a house. Like, is this an Airbnb? Do you not want people to really know where you live? Do you no longer want to film out of your house? Or was this house that they showed in this episode really your house? Like, I don't know. That just kind of confused me a little bit. Um, Tracy, yeah. Well, you stay at, sis. So now we see Trina at the house. She's cooking. She is upset because Sister Circa is canceled, so she got a lot of time on her hands. That was pretty sad news to hear that the show got canceled. You know, I feel like if the real is still on TV, why can't the Sister Circle be on TV? You feel me? Because I'm like, okay, who's still watching the real? I've been stopped watching the real. Um, I don't really... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, so it's canceled. Um, she is getting upset because Vaughn keeps talking about Miss... Evelyn's cooking. Miss Evelyn and went back home ever since Elena ep opened back up. She was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back home. And Trina said it's probably because she be hearing them have sex. I was like, ew. Now, um, speaking of Atlanta, y'all know, baby, Atlanta has been wide open since May and still open. I said, as far as these lockdowns, you know, some people going on lockdown again. I know LA is on lockdown right now, if I'm not mistaken. Atlanta is going to be the last city. Atlanta and, or let's say Georgia and Florida. They're going to be the last two states to be trying to lock down some shit because Atlanta is playing no games. Um, son, the son, Caleb, was there and Vaughn want him to move out. Trina was like, I think he just want him to move out so he can gain his own independence because her oldest son is moved out too. No, Vaughn want Caleb's ass out of there because he's weird. He was talking about he was walking around following them at night and shit. Is that what he said? Yeah, he sneak up on them at night. Like... Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Caleb is really weird. I know Trina was like, you know, if you're talking about he weird, you know, I'm weird too. Yes, Trina definitely is weird. You know, she be doing all of that. You know, she got her own sense of, you know, personality. And I don't hate Trina, but she definitely can come off a little bit. And her sons are definitely a reflection of that. I need Caleb to get the fuck on because I'm team Vaughn on this, son. You are weird as hell. I need you to get away from me because that's speaking real like creepy murdery vibes like god forbid but jesus so tony wants all the girls to come to la you know she gets to call in everybody she said that she talked to her uh doctor he said that once they fly in they'll need to get tested three days out then they can come and see you so you know she wants all the girls to come she calls tracy and was like yeah um i need you to book that flight sis tracy is like um bitch corona is out there i'm really not trying to go but you know Tony being Tony and them needing to film this show. Of course, Tracy is going to come out there. Um, what was there? Anything else? Oh, yeah. Tracy's wig. I was like, uh-uh, ma'am. You was trying on Miss Stacy. You need to burn her because that was looking a hot-ass mess. Um, Tony said that she doesn't know if they should talk about their problems while they are all in L.A. Or if they should just really focus on sister time. Um, I don't really know what they should do in that situation for real because it can be explosive, but Tracy is in therapy, so maybe she's working on her delivery. Like she said, she's learning how to use her words instead of, you know, just popping off. So, I mean, I think that it is at some point y'all are going to have to talk to each other and just r really air out our problems, hear each other out and make the change, make the, make the effort to actually change y'all's dynamic. Um... We see that Trina and Tamika go out with their husbands. They go on a double date. Um, Tamika and her big booty. Y'all know how I feel about that. Like, girl, your assets are way too big, sis. I need you to tone it down. The men end up going to the bathroom. And this is when Tamika was telling Trina that she needs to start singing again. Trina really not feeling singing anymore. They always get compared to each other, right? Tony being the star of the group. And then you got a power voice like Tamar. So, you know, she can sing. All of them can sing. But you're always going to be compared to your superstar sister. So she really is not really in the mindset to do music anymore. Um, I know she mentioned that um, her bar situation with bar chicks is kind of messed up because of COVID. She had to close it down. So I know somebody who actually worked um, at bar chicks. She went to high school with me. And yeah, she's not there right now, obviously, because it's out of service. But yeah, she just said that she feels a lot of pressure with music. So she's not going to do that. And then the last thing we see is with uh Tawanda and Sean they're going on bicycle rides because he's a cyclist and they get into the conversation of being married um of course they want to get married um she was talking about how he's a good father to her kids because I last week I was on Tawanda's Instagram and I seen that she wished him happy father's day and I was like where's Andre because 
I remember when Tamar called him in one of the previous seasons, she called him a babysitter um, in, in the midst of their separation. And Tawanda got so upset and was like, you're not going to belittle him. That is my kid's father, you know, blah, 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 because he was taking a lot of care of the kids because Tawanda was out here roaming and taking care of Tony, being her assistant. But now um, on, on the Instagram, she was just saying that, you know, happy Father's Day to Sean. And I was like, yeah, mm -mm, I ain't like that. I still don't like it even with the explanation because I'm not one that's so quick to hop on titles. Like, you're not my dad. Like, I just felt like that, was, that wasn't that was needed to be done publicly. Like, I don't know. I didn't like it. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about that. Because I don't know. Like, uh-uh. You're not my dad, sorry. Tone, tone it down. You're not my kid's father. You've only been here for about two good years. No. That is not enough for you to be trying to get that Father's Day title or uh, celebration. Now, um, yeah, they want to get married and all of that. She ended up going to the bathroom. He called Mr. Braxton. And he gonna go and talk to him face to face to ask for Tawanda's hand in marriage. I'm really not feeling them. Like, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not feeling Sean. Like I say in his lives, anytime Tawanda is live, he's very much so live in her lives about their family issues and shit. And it's just like, uh, uh you want attention. He doing his own personal interviews and shit. Like, I know they have to do this certain stuff because they don't really have much to give with this whole Corona thing. But I mean, I need him to take a back seat a little bit because, sir, yeah, you're doing too much and it's definitely coming like coming off like you want to be seen on TV and off TV. I think they got that on YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. Like, yeah, mm -mm. anyway, I'm giving this review too much time because it wasn't shit to talk about in the episode. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.